In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a flange. I know it's a crazy word, but trust me, it's an awesome technique. So to make a flange, you need a few things. First, you need a cardboard tube, like a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube, and you need your structure that you're going to put your flange on. So if it's putting it on a house or putting it on another piece of cardboard, whatever you're going to put your flange on, you need to have already with you. So I'm going to cut my flange to the size that I need. Now because this is a toilet paper or a paper towel tube, it's easy to cut right through. And it rolled off the table. So I'm going to cut another one. And I'm ready to start. So I have my piece ready. I know that I want it to stick right here. Okay. Most people just try to put glue or tape or hot glue right here and then just stick it on. But the problem with that is that it falls right off, okay? The smarter way to add this tube onto your piece is to cut a fringe around the tube. So I'm trying to make these cuts as close to the same as possible. Going around the whole tube. And once you go all the way around, you're going to take all these cuts that you made and fold them up. Kind of like little feet or octopus legs. Again, trying to have them relatively the same length. So once I have those finished, it kind of looks like a flower in a way, or octopus legs. So now I can put glue on the bottom of each of these little tabs and glue that down. So this part is called your flange. So again, I'm going to use stick glue. I recommend, if at all possible, using hot glue. Hot glue is awesome, and it is always the best thing to use pretty much when creating anything out of cardboard. So I'm just going to go around, put glue on all those pieces. I'm ready to stick. Mine is regular glue, so it's not going to be near as awesome. But there you have it. A flange and it's going to stick, and it's not going to fall off, and it's not going to tip over. It's going to be awesome.